West Virginia University had to postpone its Fan Appreciation Day when five unnamed West Virginia Mountaineer football players came down with hand, foot and mouth disease. Photo by Ronald Martinez, Getty Images There's the foot-in-mouth problem, which means accidentally saying something stupid or offensive. This can affect children and adults who behave like children. There is foot-in-mouth disease, also called hoof-in-mouth disease, which only affects those with hoofs, like cattle, sheep, and swine. Then there's hand, foot, and mouth disease, which is something completely different. This is much more common in young children, especially those under 5 years old, but can affect adults. Cattle, sheep, and swine can't get hand, foot, and mouth disease HFMD. It is unclear whether they can have foot-in-mouth problem because anything they say would come out as moo, ba, or oink. Humans can get the first and the third conditions. The third condition seems to be on the rise this year. There have been reports of HFMD outbreaks in Indiana, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Virginia. HFMD has sidelined two Major League Baseball players, the New York Mets' Noah Syndergaard and the New York Yankees' J.A. Happ. Now five unnamed West Virginia University football players getting the disease led to the university postponing Fan Appreciation Day. Yes, before the university could give fans a hand, they had to make sure that they didn't give more people hand, foot, and mouth disease. Toronto Blue Jays pitcher J.A. Happ who is now with the New York Yankees, battled hand, foot and mouth disease. John Sleazer, Kansas City star, TNS via Getty Images, that's because HFMD is quite contagious, caused by various enteroviruses. Coxsackie virus, CV, A16 and enterovirus, EV, 71 are the most common culprits. CV A6 is an emerging cause. Transmission of the virus occurs via the saliva, sputum, nasal mucus, blister fluid, and poop of infected people. Yet, another reason to wash your hands frequently and not play with poop. You also may catch the virus by swallowing pool water contaminated with infectious poop. So don't drink from swimming pools after someone has pooped in it, besides washing your hands often and thoroughly, especially after changing diapers, you should also not kiss, hug, or share anything that went into the mouths, on the hands, on the feet, or in the butts of people who have or may have HFMD. The disease tends to develop 4-6 to six days after infection and most commonly occurs in kids younger than 5 years old who haven't yet developed immunity against these viruses. The disease usually isn't severe, causing first fatigue and possibly fever, followed by potentially painful vesicular, fluid-filled and blister-like lesions on the, you guessed it, hands and feet and in the mouth. These last for about 7-10 to 10 days. Here are hand, foot, and mouth disease lesions, photo, shutter shock, occasionally, the disease is more severe. Those with the disease can lose their fingernails or toenails, which can be quite disconcerting but is usually temporary as the nails can grow back, in rare cases, infection of the brain, encephalitis, or the wrapping around the brain, meningitis, can occur and result in paralysis or even be life-threatening. The list of treatments is like the list of treatments for people who constantly put their foot in their mouths. There is no available pill, elixir, or vaccine that will significantly alter the course of the disease. You should keep well hydrated. You may try to reduce the fever and pain with acetaminophen or ibuprofen. You can eat soft and cold stuff like ice cream and avoid acidic like orange juice, salty, spicy, or rough stuff that may further irritate the mouth. Warm water mouth rinses may help. If you suspect that you or your child has HFMD, call your doctor. Even though HFMD is not officially a reportable disease, it helps to know when and where outbreaks are occurring so that families and schools can take appropriate precautions such as extra disinfecting of surfaces and doorknobs. If you have foot-in-mouth problem, you may want to stop talking. If you have foot-in-mouth disease caused by the coronavirus and have hoofs then you have a different set of problems.